Hello, everybody. <clears throat> to the heart, mind, and the soul, God is love. Today, we are doing biscuits. So, let's go ahead and get started. What I have here is my flour, my uh, baking powder, baking soda, and my salt. I have my green onions. We're going to do it different with this here. And I'm going to take the time to grate me off some cheese. Some portions of our biscuits will be cheese biscuits. And I'm going to do a nun or a kind of like a flapjack or whatever you want to call it. And this is my warm water with yeast. And I'm just showing you the ingredients that I did use. I do have my short in here and my buttermilk. So let's go ahead and get this here flour kind of pre-sifted and then we're going to add in our ingredients and I'll let you see. So I hope y'all enjoying these videos that y'all watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Tell a friend. Let your kids get involved too as well. This will be a good project for them. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and add in our baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And we're also going to add in our sugar. And I do have a stick of butter. He's hiding somewhere. But I know I'm going to add in a uh, stick of butter, okay? And this is my shortening that I'm going to absolutely need. I'm, I think I'm going a little bit too fast. Hold on, y'all. Let me mix in this uh, salt, baking powder, and my soda into my flour, okay? It's okay if you mess up. You can always go back if you didn't go too far. Okay, now let's go ahead and add in our shortening. Whoops! <laughs> and we're going to add in our butter. Be careful, y'all. That splashed everywhere. I hope y'all can see that shortening in that uh, butter. And what I'm going to do is crumble this up to as if it's just little bitty pieces. And I'll let y'all see that after. Okay, everybody, now that we got our butter and shortening off in here, let's go ahead and mix in our yeast, warm water, and our buttermilk. And by the way, when you're doing biscuits or rolls or cinnamon rolls, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're going to bake anything, make sure you go ahead and cut on your oven to whatever temperature that it is supposed to be on. We're going to go ahead and get this mixed up and I'll bring y'all back, okay? Okay, everybody, now that we have our uh, ingredients mixed up into our flour, we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a little dab of oil, and we're going to let it sit for 45 minutes, 20 to 45 minutes. I'm going to just allow it to rise to what I want it to be, and then we're going to gently roll it out. We're not going to do too much plan with, with it, excuse me, and... We're going to cut them out and put them in our pan. And I'm going to try to sneak and do me some hamburger buns because I do need some and some sub bros. So we're going to see what we can all play with this here. And uh, I'll see y'all shortly. Okay, everybody. Our uh, dough has risen pretty much where I want it to. We're going to go ahead and make some um, green onion and parsley and rainbow pepper uh, hokey buns, okay? And um, what I'm gonna do is take my peppers, green onions, and parsley, and I'm just gonna pour it over my dough, and then I'm gonna knead it out to where I want it, okay?
Okay, everybody, these are my pepper, uh, green onions, and parsley biscuits. We're going to let them rise for 20 minutes, and these are my the same as my um, hokey buns. And these are my hamburger buns, and these are my biscuits, my breakfast biscuits. So you can do quite a bit with this dough. You can pretty much add whatever flavor that you like. So let's go ahead and egg wash our um, hamburger buns. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to anyway. I don't have a brush, but trust and believe me, I'm going to find a way to do whatever I need to satisfy what I'm trying to do. And it's just like if any business see this video and you choose to uh, take it up on yourself to make this, please wear gloves when you're dealing with this because I'm at home and I don't have all my supply of what I need. No worries with me because I'll find a way to get what I need to be. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like what I'm doing, no worries, because I'm not feeding you. And what I'm going to do is just take my uh, finger and just uh, spread my egg wash on to give it that uh, brioche look. See, I don't worry about what somebody... Saying, oh, you ain't got no gloves on. Guess what? I ain't feeding you. When I when I was working, doing everything right, it still wasn't good enough for the government anyway. Can you believe I was fired on every job that I worked? No, it was you mad because you couldn't control me, and I was a natural from God to do what I'm doing. And, I, and pretty much, we're going to get off that subject. We're going to do all of our biscuits uh, hoagie bread and uh, plain biscuits like that and I do have a surprise at the end I'll wait to maybe almost to the end when I'm going to do this and let y'all see to pretty much say you can do whatever you want with this dough okay let's go ahead and place our biscuits I mean our hamburger buns on our tray and like I said we're going to let it rise for 20 minutes Because sometimes I do chicken sandwiches, hamburgers. Ain't no telling what else I'll come up with. But um, I have me some buns left. You can do a, a good old fish sandwich. All that good stuff. Okay, everybody. This is our surprise right here. What I did, I rolled out my dough pretty long. And I'm just going to... Uh, stick it with a filling, a filling of your choice, okay? It's a particular way that you're going to do this here. And then you're going to just simply take it and fold it over, which I'm going to need both hands. And like I said, when I come back, I'll get ready to show you. And all we basically going to do I'll try to go ahead and do it, is uh, take it, the end that's rolled up. I'm going to try it this way, and then I'm going to do it the other way. And just uh, take it and just fold it over, fold it over. And that flip end, that tail, it should be sitting up under. And now we're going to just place it right here on our bread pan. And we're going to brush that with our egg wash, too, as well. Okay, this is our second one. Let's go ahead and uh, flip our bread over. And just make sure that you bring it all the way over. If you wish, you can go ahead and um, 
Hold on, I'm gonna do it for you. Okay, I didn't do the first one like that, but I will do this one. You could just go ahead and just uh, brush your inside dough with butter. Since this is kind of like a sweet roll or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. And then we're just going to take our bread and just do them just like that. And okay, and then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to roll it the opposite end because I did start with my fruit on the other one. But here we're just going to start with the tail end and just roll it. We just basically plan to see what um, how it's going to come out. And make sure the part where the um, filling is, make sure that you uh, pinch it together and let it rise. And I'm, like I told you, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my uh, egg wash on it. I would pretty much call this a everything dough. I'm going to start with a little bit more butter because I am working with something sweet. And you do kind of want that um, butter taste when you're cooking with sweet. At least I do. And then I'm going to come back with my egg wash. And I'm going to let y'all see that before I let them rise for 20 minutes, okay? Okay, everybody, now that we have our uh, biscuits, our dessert roll, our hamburger buns, and our hoagies off in here, and our plain breakfast biscuit, let's go ahead and let them bake for until they're golden brown. I'll say that. At least uh, give them about 25 to 30 minutes and then just check on them. You don't want to keep coming in and out of the oven, okay? In the meantime, while they're cooking, go ahead and give yourself a, a little cleanup. And um, if you got time before they get done, uh, you can scramble off your some egg and bacon and go from there. Okay, everybody. Uh, sub rolls, hamburger, and a surprise uh, treat is ready. And on this one, you can see that I kind of cut it and it's cream cheese and apple filling. Whatever filling that you decide that you want to uh, put in there and make this roll, go right ahead. And these are our beautiful um, Ringo Pepper uh, dinner rolls or biscuits, whatever you want to call them. And this is our hamburger bun. So if you have the time, you want to shape them like a hamburger, go right ahead and do that. And this is a banana pepper hoagie bread. And let us let me show you our plain biscuits. Oh, they are gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. So I hope y'all uh, try this. And what we did with one of our rainbow pepper is made a breakfast sandwich in which we have eggs stuffed with cheese. And we have our bacon on the side and we're just going to put them up there. And see, this is something that you can like... Uh, do ahead of time, wrap it up, put it in the freezer, take it out the night before and